Prince Andley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. I want to talk to you today about how prophecy can change churches and nations. And particularly, I want to talk to you about how the gifts of the Spirit multiply to nations. In this show, I'm going to discuss how one prophecy and the gifts of the Holy Spirit can multiply into healings and miracles for churches and spread to nations. This is a true account of real miracle happenings, so let it encourage you to obey the Lord and share all of the good news. So let's talk about how prophecy can change churches and nations. The gifts of the Spirit multiply to nations. I received a phone call from my Jewish friend Leon Brooks asking me if I would consider teaching on the gifts of the Holy Spirit to a large adult class where he was one of the leaders at the First Baptist Church in Downey, California in the United States. Leon told me they were studying motivation, and he said the Lord had impressed him to invite me to share on the ministry of the Ruch Elohim, the Spirit of God. I accepted the invitation, and I remember clearly what I was thinking while sitting in the group area before I spoke. Before I got up to teach, a member of the class had requested prayer for a young man who had been a youth pastor at the church years before and had just been in a very serious auto accident in another state and who was in a coma. Now, that's all they knew about the situation. Well, that got my attention. I then knew how the Lord wanted me to share about the gifts of the Spirit. A few days before, I had been in a restaurant and overheard someone talking about that young pastor who was in the auto accident. They mentioned his name, but all they knew was that he was in the Twin Cities or the Minneapolis-St. Paul area of the United States which was about 2,000 miles or 3,200 kilometers away. The morning after hearing about the accident in the restaurant, I was on my knees praying at home. Before I got up from praying, I was praying for the young man who I heard about being involved in the auto accident. All I knew was his name, Mark Shore. I asked the Lord to heal him, but then the Lord instructed me to go call him and pray for him. Now God told me that he wanted to heal him. And I said to the Lord, I don't know where he's at. I don't know how to find him. Then God told me, why don't you try? Why don't you give me the benefit of the doubt? Well, that lesson taught me the avenue to receiving many miracles through the coming years. Why don't we give God the benefit of the doubt when he speaks? Well, I thought, well, he's supposed to be somewhere in the Twin Cities area back east. So I guess I could just call hospitals in that area. I got up and proceeded to call information for hospitals in the area, and I think it was the second call I made that I found out where Mark Shore was at. He had been in a coma, but when I called his room, he was conscious. Now, as I remember, his wife and child had died as a result of the accident. When I talked to him, now remember, we did not know each other. I read Psalm 116 to him. I prayed with him for his healing. And then I gave him a prophecy about his future ministry. Then I hung up the phone. So back to the meeting where I was getting ready to speak. When they asked me to come up to speak, I forgot all about the incident of calling Mark Shore and praying with him. I started sharing with the audience about how the gifts of the Holy Spirit can motivate people to encourage others, and also how each of the nine gifts of the Spirit operates. You can read that in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 to 12. Well, when I started to teach on how the gift of prophecy operates, all of a sudden I remembered about Mark Shore, and when I had prophesied to him on the phone a few days before. And then the explosion happened. I told the audience, as an example of how the gift of prophecy operates, a few days ago, I was on my knees praying, and the Lord instructed me to call a young man who used to minister here at your church and prophesy to him and pray for his healing. I explained to them that I did not know him, but had heard about him in passing conversation at a restaurant a few days before. I told the audience, if you'd like to contact him, he's in Ramsey Hospital, room 650, bed number 2 in St. Paul, Minnesota. By the way, Ramsey Hospital is now Regions Hospital. As soon as I said that, an anointing of healing broke out through the audience. 
One lady in the back stood up and said, Fire just went through my body. I have been healed. Well, many miracles happened during that service, and at the end, one of the other leaders asked me, Will you please come to my house one night next week? We're having a meeting and would like you to share more about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. I said yes, and I made an appointment to meet with them at the home. Well, the next week at the home Bible study, several people received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and spoke in tongues with several other miracles happening. However, the beautiful result was that the next Sunday evening at the First Baptist Church, 125 people received Christ as their Savior after hearing what the Lord had been doing in and through the congregation. A few years later, I was teaching at a women's conference in Ojai, California in the United States. I don't remember what I was speaking about, but suddenly while I was speaking, the Holy Spirit impressed me to share the testimony of when I had called Mark Shore and prayed for his healing and prophesied to him. It was the first and the only time that I had ever used his name except at the First Baptist Church. A lady was so overcome by what I had shared that after the meeting she told me the rest of the story. As a result of being healed and as a result of the prophecy I gave to Mark Shore, his mother-in-law was saved and then she became an international speaker for Christian women's events. My friend, obey God. Operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Give God the benefit of the doubt. You will help many people and see many miracles. Now, in the show notes of this podcast, I've mentioned two resources that will greatly help you operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Also, help you to know how to receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Also, one of those two resources will help you to learn how to prophesy with creative decrees. Plus, I've placed a third resource in the show notes describing the divisiveness and protests that are happening today in the United States of America and in other countries around the world, with personal testimonies of people who had been caught up in anarchy and then became warriors for Christ. Also included in that third resource, Anarchy and Revolution, is a prophetic section for you, the messenger of God. It will guide you and help you develop the ministry of prophetic decrees. So you can look for the book, How to Receive God's Power with Gifts of the Spirit, and the book, Prophecy, Transition, and Miracles, and finally, the book, Anarchy and Revolution. And by the way, my friend, I placed an opportunity in the show notes of the podcast. We do new things for the Lord, Holy Spirit things. Work with us to reach the nations and Israel with exploits. Get rewards in heaven and on earth for partnering with us in unique works. Just click on the Secure Donate button. We'll send you a tax-deductible receipt, and God will send you many blessings. This has been your friend, Prince Handley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. Baruch Abba, Bashim Adonai.